So welcome to Digital Toolbox. In this tutorial we're going to continue our vertical louver cladding uh, definition and hone it down a little bit more so that one of these situations uh, of vertical louvers we'll turn into horizontal louvers and then have the same control to divide and uh, add more. And then we'll also be able to rotate the individual members so in case you have some sun angle analysis or some environmental concerns and you want to rotate the uh, direction of the the individual members so they aren't just perpendicular to the wall we'll do that too so you refer back to the the last tutorial on how to uh, get this far in the definition but we we've taken this this one definition and copied it three times for these three specific openings I'll zoom into this middle opening where we have uh, these boxes for our individual louvers and now we're going to want to rotate it so I'll take this curve and uh, reset it as one of the as a curve on the side so then our uh, we'll be dividing the the height of our of our opening to uh, create these louvers so I'll set one curve and select that curve and now we still have our 2x4s that are 9 feet tall but they're just all on top of each other now so we're going to want to rearrange the uh, the interval box uh, the axes that we're populating these dimensions so the Z will actually be the 2 inches you can see it's cut it down to the same cross section the 2x4 and then we want the Y to be that longer 9 foot uh, height what it used to be the height and we'll just bring that out to 21 feet or the entire length of our opening so here you can see we've taken our same definition and just applied it to a different curve now we could even uh, hone this down a little bit more and copy this curve uh, to to evaluate the length of the the bottom curve to get the actual this Y dimension, um, the length of our louvers to be even, even uh, right on. So we'll just set set this one curve as the bottom, and then go under curve analysis length, and we can evaluate the length of this curve, and then that length can be the Y. So you can see it's uh, it's right on now. And then if we uh, if we updated this to a different one we would just reset the curves and it would be spot on and you don't even need uh, this other slider so I encourage you to uh, whatever s scenario you're you're using this for uh, be mindful of what you're creating right now and then the easiest way to generate more things on top of that in in grasshopper so now let's go back over to uh, our first our first opening which is this first our original definition here and now we're gonna rotate these individual boxes uh, this interval box and have a type of rotation here on these this cladding so I'll just double click and find the rotate button I think it's a, it's should be under uh, cross form up here but uh, this geometry is it'll ask for us for G the geometry we want to rotate I'll just be our box and then it'll ask us for uh, P which is the the base plane the rotation plane and A our rotation angle so we want our rotation angle to be uh, 90 degrees in either way so I'll copy this slider and edit the values so it's gonna be negative uh, 90 and 90 say okay and it, it's asking for uh, rotation angle in radians so we're gonna have to redu uh, convert this from uh, radians to degrees so we'll grab uh, the same single variable function f1 uh, that we had up here and if you will d double click on it and edit the, in the expression editor so we'll click on display function list and you can see all of these functions you can put in we'll find the rad function which is R A D X and that converts an angle uh, 
from degrees to radians or vice versa. So we'll just type in rad uh, parentheses x parentheses and now our slider will go into the x and then into the angle and this will be uh, 0 to 90 degrees in either direction. So here you can see it's rotating our geometry except it's rotating it around uh, the 0, 0, 0 world axis, which is not the rotation plane, the P that we want. So we'll just take the P and set it up on these individual points back from the originally divided curve. And now you can see it's already working. We'll take the box and unpreview it. And uh, down here you can see that when we toggle our slider, it rotates the individual individual uh, members. So it's just a little bit tighter definition and uh, you can use it to uh, customize your louvers and rotate it, maybe create an animation or go on from there. So here are a few different uh, scenarios that you might be able to do and as always I, I encourage you to kind of push the limits of, of this simple definition and uh, customize it even further for your own needs.